Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Prism Baseball uh, Draft Picks Edition. Two box random pack break number two. So just the second uh, just the second of two boxes coming out of a fresh case that Jason popped open yesterday. Ten spot break, everyone's guaranteed a pack and there should be an autograph per pack as well. So you're guaranteed a random auto. What we're going to do is I'm going to open up the boxes, number the packs, 1 through 10. And then I'll randomize your names, randomize the pack numbers, and then open them up and see what you end up with. So let's pop it open. So we're looking for guys like Adley Rushman, yeah, Jason Dominguez of the Yankees, of course, Bobby Wood Jr., so on and so forth. Actually, we'll just... Keep those facing up. Oh, where am I going to write the number up? Put the number right here. One, two, three, four, and five. Six, seven, eight, actually, there you go, eight, nine, and tenth and final time, ten times, ten packs. All right, so now let's flip screens again. Now let's roll it and randomize it uh, seven times. For each list, two, I said seven, right? Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, then final time. After seven times, we got Connor down to Zach. You can't see the numbers because you're colorblind. That you should still be able to see the shape of the number though, Logan, just not the color. Unless you have that weird kind of color blindness where the number just disappears, the writing just disappears. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven down to 10 after seven times. There you go. Now we're gonna do these, I guess we'll do these numerically. All right, there you go. So Connor with seven, Jeff with four, Mike with eight, Ryan, last spot, Mojo, pack nine, James, uh, Jimmy Brandt with three, Kevin with one, Charles with six, Jeff with two, Jimmy with five, and Zach with 10. Let's order these numerically. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out the labels so I can just kind of bag them up right away. I doubt no one, no one's trading pack numbers, right? Well, I've seen people trade tra pack numbers before. Maybe, uh, I don't know why. Maybe due to, maybe someone has a favorite number or something like that. I've seen that happen. So this is... 2019 Prism Draft MLB two box RP random pack number two. Was the chat wild yesterday, Curtis? Jason had to bring the band hammer down? Wow. Well, the price of fame, Curtis. The price of fame. All right, so I'm typing in the chat, TWC, trade window closed. Might as well print out that other list too. All right, Leonard, what's going on? All right, Kevin, I think you only got one pack, right? 
Yeah, all right. So, Kevin, pack number one. All right, there's the final printout once again, too. All card chip, of course. There's Cody Hosey. That's a Dodger right there. And then behind Cameron should be the auto. And it is Dominic Fletcher. So I think is... Mets, maybe? I'm trying to think where, where, he, where he ended up. There's All-Americans, Bobby Witt Jr. as well. So nothing numbered, but there's your autograph, Dominic Fletcher. All right, thanks, Kevin, for getting in. There will be more of this in the store, ladies and gentlemen, so check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, next up is Jeff, who I know got a couple of packs. He has two and four. So here's two. Let's skip down here to four. Two and four, two and four. Good luck, Jeff. Oh, did I, I think I made the same mistake last time, Ryan Harold. Yeah, Dominic Smith is the Met. Dominic Fletcher is the Diamondback. I think I did this the other night when, in a first edition break or I don't know, something like that. Andrew Vaughn should be a pretty big name too. Josh Young for the, in the Rangers system. There's C.J. Abrams. Any guesses on the redemption? There's Andrew Vaughn, Green. Cameron Cannon and the Kyle Stower to 25 reveals a Matt Cantorino. Is Cantorino a Met? Now I'm just guessing. I don't know who this I, I, I've heard the name Twins, maybe? That's, that's to 99. Kyle Stowers, I think, might be a Mariner. C.J. Abrams, I know, is a Padre. I like these Crusade inserts, too. All right, who's a twin? Cantorino's a twin? Eventually, I'll learn all these guys. Redemption is... Braden Shoemake. Didn't we just have a Braden Shoemake somewhere? Maybe not. Now, obviously, that goes to Jeff, but now I'm just curious where where Braden Shoemake goes. He is a Brave. He's in the Braves. Shortstop in the Braves organization. Drafted with the first rounder. Drafted with the 21st overall pick, according to Wikipedia. I think he's kind of blocked by... Dansby, but maybe they'll move him, move him around different positions by the time he gets to the majors. Although baseball, baseball is kind of becoming uh, baseball is kind of becoming so much like a, a, yeah, good guess on the redemption, Cooper. Baseball is kind of becoming like basketball. Like there's almost like a positionless sort of thing that's slowly starting to emerge. I think more, more players are now more versatile. They, they can play different positions now, which is kind of cool. Jimmy Brandt, you just had two, three, and five. So there's three, and there's five right here. Three and five. Good luck. All right, good luck, Chase Strumpf. There's Brandon Williamson, Corey Lee, TJ Sikama, and Brady McConnell. Seven out of 25. There's your first autograph. 
Brady McConnell, a Royal. Royal, I think. There's Bobby Wood Jr., nice. Taryn Fletcher, Shea Langliers, who I think is a Brave. There's Michael Toglia, Riley Green, All-Americans. And then we've got JJ, sorry, I thought the auto was this. JJ Blade, he's a Marlin. And Luke Waddell. And is, uh, maybe he might not even be drafted yet. Team USA Collegiate. There's Bobby Wood Jr. Curtis, I'm putting in the man hours now? I'm not sure what that means. My hours are not any different. Just an hour earlier. I'm not staying later. My, my, my voice can't really handle the load as it is now. Charles Smith with pack six. There's Adley Rushman again, Brett Beatty, JJ Blade, Andrew Vaughn, Zach Thompson will reveal a Dominic Fletcher, Diamondbacks, got it. Yeah, so the new schedule, ladies and gentlemen, we slightly adjusted the schedule. I'll be coming on live about an hour earlier than usual. Subject to change, again, without notice, but for now, while things are on the, on the crazy busy side for us. All right, Charles, nice pack for you there. So I'll be going from 1 o'clock... Pacific to 9 o'clock Pacific, and then from 9 o'clock Pacific, Nick Jaspi will go up until around midnight. Maybe a tiny bit longer after that, but not too much longer because I think he's going to have a more, he, he's going to do that Nick at Night schedule from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Los Angeles time. Um... Tuesday through Saturday, the same nights I'm on. So he's got to kind of have a tighter schedule, otherwise he's going to get burned out really quickly. There's Cameron Cannon. Nice crusade, C.J. Abram to 99. And the autograph is Matt Cantorino from Rice University. <laughs> When's the boss man breaking? When do you want him to break, Curtis? Probably, probably the uh, probably from six a.m. to six a.m. to nine a.m. How about that? Breakfast with the boss man. Jason Bell, what's going on? All right, Connor, thank you very much. There is your pack seven. All right, just a few more to go. Mike, Ryan, and Zach. There's pack eight for Mike. There's Bobby Wood Jr., nice green parallel. Brandon Williamson, Kyle Stowers, and your autograph is going to be Garrett Mitchell, with that snakeskin parallel right here. Right, and Jason Jaspi will be 
kind of uh, will flex into some earlier hours on new release days. Nice Bobby Wood Jr. So yeah, so we'll be we'll be trying to maximize our hours as much as possible, especially during like big new release days like Bowman Baseball. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of fun. It has Curtis. Thank you everyone for for spending your pandemic time with us. Yeah, sales have been pretty wild. I mean, they were. They were trending upwards just naturally over the last year, but then there's definitely a huge spike in the last, uh, here you go, Ryan Harold, by the way. Definitely a huge spike since a lot of the stay at home orders were happening. People were bored and they started discovering group breaks. Now, like, I'm okay with that. There's Cody Hosey, Dodgers prospect, and your autograph is Joshua Mears. Josh Mears, was it White Sox maybe? He sounds familiar. Yeah, and I think uh, I think secondary market sales is as uh, Jason Bell's mentioning, um, secondary market sales are great too. So if you need to clean out your, your collection, maybe th get rid of some stuff that you don't want to hang on to anymore, I think online sales for the secondary market have also been pretty brisk. We have a, we have a lot of a big local uh, local collectors here who are always just like, yeah, I can't put stuff on eBay fast enough. And here's the last one for you, Zach. Can't put stuff on eBay fast enough, he's saying. Which, I, we, to be honest with you, we didn't know what was going to happen when the stay-at-home order started. Nice Bobby Wood Jr., red, and another Bobby Wood Jr., Zach, orange. Not numbered, but pretty nice stuff. And you've got a Reese Hines, you know, Reds prospect, nice, good, nice Reds prospect. So good way to end it, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, when the, when the, when the stay-at-home orders first started, we were concerned. We're like, oh man, you know, people are losing their jobs. It sucks. And what's going to happen? People stuck at home. Are are people really going to be spending on on trading cards? Well, turns out turns out yes. Because <laughs> I guess there's still a lot of people working from home, still making the same money, but. You know, they're not spending it on other, they're not spending their disposable income on other stuff. So, naturally, they find us. All right, so a lot of Bobby Witt Jr. is right in there for you, Zach Paul. So, nice break for you. Congrats to you. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you for the next break. Bye-bye.